Let's go. Australia. The one I barely know. Quite a night and fog heavy one there, actually. Australia in cat face is going to be very interesting because group A coming through these is so fast. It's absolutely f like this. This whole thing is absolutely flat out. Group A is going to be fucking insane. That's a good run. Oh, nice. One day I will get a world record. Possibly. Well, a world record in a 
category that anyone else has actually played. Because I got a couple in Australia <laughs> in the logging truck. But then by the time I got to the bloody Dakar truck and the tri-wheeler, people have gone through Australia in them and actually set good times. Yeah, oh yeah, Trekmania, I mean Trekmania is worse because there's more top level players but also there's less maps, you know, if you want something respectable at least. But even then with the random map challenge, pretty much every map has had some good player head onto it. So you can't be an average player and just look out and find a map that nobody's played before to get a world record. But here, like, to get a world record on a track of the day, or a campaign map, they're the big ones. Yeah, I could get top ti 10 times casually in a couple of places when I first started playing. I just haven't got any better or worse <laughs> since. I've got effectively worse because everybody else has got better. That's the problem. like in Xenotic, I got last year, or two years ago, 2022, I got 25th in uh, World Championships. This year, 2023, last year, I got 26th. I am way better at the game this year. I played way better in World Championships. But I didn't get any top 20 times. Like, I previous two years 2021 and 2022 on map five of both of them I got a uh, top 20 time but 2023 no nah, couldn't get it couldn't pick it up there was something I slightly regret week three I kind of regret not um, not going for some of the shortcuts that you could do but at the same time, they just really weren't enjoyable for me to go for, so I ended up not going for them. But I could have quite easily knocked a chunk of time off of my time if I'd gone for one of the shortcuts towards the end. Probably half a second at least. But, oh well, what's done is done. I want a world record in Zenotic really badly actually. That is that is the one that I do I need to just find a map that I can actually play for world record. Annoyingly there's no way of playing and hiding because we all play on servers, so there's no way of just grinding for it 
away from the prying eyes of other people. So you you start getting good times and you know that good people will start jumping on the server with you and getting playing with you. You can't just kind of hide like you can in Art of Rally. Hide until you've got it and then post it. Because no one's going to notice you slowly creeping up the leaderboards unless you're posting screenshots or telling people about it or streaming or something. But for the minute in Art of Rally I'm quite happy just doing what I'm doing now. I've got my feet up, chilling out. And I'm crashing into every goddamn hay bale and tree and wall and everything. Random stages are hard to do well. I think the the fact that these stages are handcrafted is nice. Dirt 4 does that though. Dirt 4's, Dirt 4's are weird because by the time I finished the campaign of Dirt 4 I was starting to understand how the generation was working and it felt like stages were getting samey. So it felt, I think they did a good job of making it so that it felt familiar but then at some points it felt too familiar and you were like, okay, it's a left, then a right. And you set up for the left, then a right, and it turned out it was just a left. There was no right. But you'd had like four times in a row where that was this, the fucking procedure. I don't understand how people go flat out through there. Yeah, so stages feel a bit samey after a while, but it's kind of, it's a weird one because it's like, do these stages feel samey? No, because they're exactly the same, they feel familiar. When something is random but kind of feels the same and you start, you start recognising patterns, it feels samey and it feels bad, but when things are just well made originally, they get familiarity with them. Though someone did say yesterday, so new, apparently a new Mario Kart, well, new Nintendo console, new Nintendo console, new Mario Kart, and one of the, this is the hot take, and I think this is an incredible, incredible thing. I think it, it's likely, but I'd never thought of it before. Mario Kart 9 or Mario Kart 10 because um, Mario, I bet they call it Mario Kart X by the way. That's my that's my hunch. Um, that it will be Mario Kart X because every other fucker's done that. Although Twitter kind of killed that Mario that X thing. My favourite one was the idea that... So Windows 10 was supposed to be the last version of Windows ever. was kind of billed as. Uh, because OS X is OS 10. Um, then as soon as Apple stops using OS X, Microsoft all of a sudden... Oh, we need Windows 11 then. That's the real reason they skipped uh, Windows 9. It's not because of any checks for Windows 95. Anyway, the take of Mario Kart was that uh, there's a gimmick for every... Every game has a gimmick. Gimmick for Mario Kart... Uh, the first one, it's the first one. It's Mario Kart. That's the gimmick. Um, the second one is... 64. 3D. That's the gimmick. Effectively. Third one's Super Circuit on the Game Boy, handheld. Then 60, uh, sorry, then Double Dash. 
uh, has the double dash mechanic, the two players, all of that shit, the special items for characters. Uh, DS it has the DS feature, it has Wi-Fi battles, it has battles and mission mode. Mostly I think the gimmick is... Uh, um, online really that was the thing that was advertised that was the thing that was pushed for it mission mode wasn't really pushed Mario Kart Wii has bikes uh, Mario Kart 7 had gliders underwater all of that sort of shit there's other things as well, but these are kind of the core, core things that were advertised. Mario Kart 8 has the fucking upside down stuff, anti-grav. Then 8 Deluxe has the DLC, I guess. But it's the same game, so it don't really count. Tour is obviously the first one not on a Nintendo console as well, if, if you need a, a gimmick for Tour, other than the fact that it's touchscreen, a mobile game, all of those things. Tour's got a few. Just go. Wrong. But yeah, the gimmick that Abel, MKDS Abel, very cool, made a great documentary. If you um, piss and shit. If you're bored after you've watched this, I highly recommend going and watching MKDS 2021 uh, Dasher documentary. It's incredible. But anyway, Abel's prediction is that Mario Kart 8 is going to have Mario Maker style track building. Which I think, yeah. I don't know how they'll fit it in, but the prediction effectively, like, part, part of it comes from the fact that you got to think Nintendo... As much as it would suck for the time trial scene, like, how the fuck do you time trial this stuff? What's your speed run? What's your, you know, your base content if it's primarily you're supposed to create tracks and go online and do that sort of thing? What's your base content? Um, cause the thing, I think the next, I haven't actually properly looked at the next console, but I think it's a proper, they, they've considered the Switch a portable, haven't they? And the next one's not portable at all. So it's, they can kind of say. They can kind of say this is always going to have an internet connection. Like they did for Mario Maker. Even though they did that for Mario Maker 3DS. But, you know. An internet connection can be expected these days. But. It, yeah, I think it has a high chance of happening. Honestly. Building it around the snap. Like, snapping together tracks and stuff. And I will... It will probably cause me... The next Mario Kart game coming out is a good thing for me. I will not buy it. There was an Art of Rally Track Editor. Nobody used it, so they stopped maintaining it. I'm sorry to break it to you. 
I believe the bait is still hanging around and it might still work even. Yeah, new Mario Kart game will do me good because it will mean that I don't have to think about Oh, I have to play the newest, I have to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because it's the newest one, that's the one that everyone's playing. When the new one comes out, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is also old and old hat and it doesn't matter anymore. That's when I can just go, okay, I play DS, I play Wii. There. Done. I do kind of wish I could get rid of my Switch, but... I wish somebody else had had that idea. I wish someone else had, had made a good fucking kart racer. Nobody does. Crash ain't bad, actually. I should probably get Crash, and that would be my kart racer. Crash Team Racing. Mario Kart DS being on the console, uh, being on a handheld, got, did it dirty. Because honestly, I reckon Mario Kart DS would be so much more popular than Mario Kart uh, Wii if they were both on console systems and had full online. Super Tux Kart's alright, but it's kind of just alright. There's so Sonic Robo 2 Kart, that one's decent-ish. I wonder if Crash plays on Linux. I'd be very much more inclined to get it if it did. Although I should probably just play Art of Rally. You know. Art of Rally, Defrag. Momentum mod. I got games. I got speedrunning games. You want to live inside Art of Rally? Well just, you know that challenge you said the other day? Every track with every single different car. Do this entire challenge a bare minimum of 10 times, because I think that's the lowest number of cars in a class. It'd probably be about 10 times this many to do them all. One hundred percent world records would be insane for anything. Just to say, for the forward, dry countries in one, uh, in, yeah, forward dry, in one country in one class would be ridiculous enough. To do that for an entire class for every country would be nuts. To do it for reverse and wet, even more. 100% in this game, 100% world records in this game will never happen. It's impossible. The only way it could possibly happen is long after the servers shut down, somebody finds a game of a copy of this game, somehow manages to get the the thing. No, because 
the thing is, even if you play like three hours a day, it'll take you four or f I worked out if I played two tracks of this a day. What was it? Basically, this is just to finish every track, just to do it how I'm doing, is about a six month grind with a reasonable playtime, like I'm doing. I'm now bumping it up because I've had quite a lot of time off, but if you've played consistently, you could do one or two a day. Now, multiply that by how much time it needs to, br to break a world record. I'm fairly sure the actual playtime is more than six days. No, nah, that's wrong. That was that was some shitty maths. That's a hundred hours, six days. No, it's about six days. Six times two is twelve. Six times four. He's 24. 144. Yeah. Yeah, six days in... Six days in all. I did have a thought for a marathon. Get multiple people together, complete the game 100%, the, the classic 100%, get all achievements, all, well, um, all achievements, finish the career, all of the, what's it, the free roam challenges, everything, do everything. Then, start marathoning every track in the game. And just have like a rotor of four or five of you. Just rolling round. Do that for a week. Have them all done. It'd be sick, but you'd need a much bigger community of people playing out of rally to do it, to be able to like justify it. to justify that level of event. Because realistically, it's six days track time. 
but plus the hundred percent room, which is going to take like I think I think the estimate's about eight nine hours. Um, it's basically a week straight. No, I don't remember the Australia stages either. Rip my driver. Practice it out of Ray 24 7 because one like, let's do random stuff instead. Yeah. Norway's going to be a shit show of who knows the cuts and who's willing to pull them off and like how late are they in a run. I reckon the stage that we'll see, if they if there's cuts, the stage we'll see the least cuts would be stage 4. Because people are going to go for them for the power stage.
but I feel like there'd have to be some pretty beefy time save to go for it on a regular ass stage 4. The only chance I'm going to have to practice Germany is if I, before we get there, is if I hit, uh, if I hit Germany in group four before we get there in, what's it, it's the only reason I'll play Germany before we get there. is unlikely to happen though. It'll probably happen mid-Germany, hitting Germany in Group 4. Because unless I go on a grind like this every day for the rest of this week. Which to be fair, it's not been that bad lately. By the time I'm done it's going to be like, uh, it's going to be like two and a half, three hours actually to be fair. Getting real fast with Group 3. Shame that it's um, shame it's time to leave this group. That I was talking about that before you joined. It's brutal swapping cars because you only get used to the car by the end of the 12 stages. To be fair, Group 3 is my most played class. I think. Group 2 might be slightly more, but Group 3, I think this car in Group 3 is my favourite. It was my first speedrunning stuff in this game, when I started playing competitive stuff, before Catface was even a thing. Um, yeah, the category would... Well, it was Group... you could play Group B, Group 4 or Group 3. And I chose group three. <sighs> there we are. Cheers, Turbo.